And that'll be uh, that'll be a good one right here. <laughs> Mary, about how many birds do we have here today? Twenty-nine. Good. One was able to fly, and the rest couldn't. Uh huh. Is this your first time out? Actually, I released this one four years ago. Oh. But this is my first time out of rodeo. Pretty exciting, huh? Awesome. So is it possible awesome. to get the birds that are nice banded or that you don't They want are. Them. Beautiful. They, they seem quite around. tame now, yeah, don't they? They're very nice. Get them all to another end of the lake. Got a red bull. Hey, Maria, you want to go drive? We don't let go of them yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Over here. I'm just kind of them, but don't. Don't sit on them. Get over your I don't want to move through here, then. Here goes. 
I want to go up here. Ready? Go for it. Sweet. Good job. Just set it down. Very gently. Uh, let it no, in, in the water. In the water. Let it support its own weight before you let it let it go. Make sure it's, it's floating. There you go. Good job. Crazy man. <laughs> Stop Trooper Live, that's what I have to say. When you set your swan down, is you want to make sure that he's floating before you let go of him. If you want to carry one in, I do, yeah. Come on over. Hold on, let me take Marie. Bend down. Into the water till you're about up to your knees, and then you're going to set the bird down gently. It's going to be floating This is uh, Pat Manthe with the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources. And what is your title, Pat? I'm an avian ecologist with the Bureau of Endangered Resources, and I am the field coordinator for the Trumpeter Swan Program. Okay, very good. And today we're out uh, catching um, uh, swans and, and banding and so forth. Mm -hmm. And uh, perhaps you could give uh, the people some sort of idea of, of how that information is used. We've been banding swans since the late 80s, all the trumpeter swans in Wisconsin. It's a restored population. They were extirpated. That means wiped out completely from the state oh. for about 100 years. And we've brought them back by mostly getting eggs from Alaska, hatching them, and releasing the young birds in Wisconsin. And because it's a restored population, we've wanted to study it and see how it's doing, see if the birds are succeeding, 
where they go in the winter, how long they live, things like that. And the only way you can do that is to have marked birds. So that's why we capture them and put collars and bands on them. Okay. And uh, these um, uh, banding activities have been going on for uh, a number of years? Mm -hmm. And um, how, how many years would you say? Uh, um, well, from the very beginning, all the swans we released, we marked with, with okay. bands and collars. So every, every bird that we have let go, and then in the early years, we tried to catch every signet that those birds produced and banned them. Mm -hmm. Now the population has gotten big enough that we just do a sample of the birds each year. And some people may wonder how uh, you're able to catch uh, uh, mature swans like that. <laughs> Yep, what you just saw today, we're, ca we're catching them because they are flightless. Most waterfowl drop all their flight feathers at once, and they have a period of time where they just cannot fly until they grow new flight feathers, because birds have to renew their feathers every year. So we take advantage of that flightless period, and we can catch them then. Otherwise, of course, we couldn't because they fly. And okay. you saw today, some of them flew off anyway. Uh-huh, right, right. And uh, it looked to me like you had uh, a number of volunteers out there. We had lots of volunteers, yeah. That's the way this program has always worked. We have a core of people, some DNR staff people who come out with us. We had several of those today. And then we have these wonderful volunteers who have gotten what we say is hooked on swans. And they're just excited as can be. They help organize all this. They bring equipment. They find other people to come. So yeah, this program would never have worked without volunteers and amazing donations from all all. Is there anything else you'd like to say? Only if you see a, a banded or collared trumpeter swan, report it to your nearest DNR office because that gives us one more data point. We learned something about that bird. And if you leave your contact information, we'll try to get back to you with some information about the swan. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much, Pat.